What you're looking at here is a instance of a Jupyter notebook where I'm importing a medium English spacey model and I am applying it to a list of about 5,000 texts. I'm looping over every single element in that list and I'm passing that to the NLP object and I'm also keeping track of how long it takes and it seems that handling 5,000 sentences in this list takes about 20 seconds. Now let's see if we can maybe speed that up. Because the thing is, this NLP object over here, when you're using it like a function, like a callable, then it assumes that you're only interested in handling one text at a time. But we also have the pipe method that allows us to tell Spacey we're actually interested in handling more. So let's run that. And we can see just by using the pipe method and passing all the texts into that, we get a pretty significant speed up. It's about four to five times as fast at this point. So that's nice, but we're able to make it even faster. You see, what we can also do is we can call this pipe method with an extra parameter and processes that tells the machine that we're interested in running this in parallel on multiple cores. In this case, I'm just gonna pass in four and we'll see what happens when I run this. If we run it this way, it's even faster. Now it's not four times as fast. Unfortunately, the world doesn't work that way. But if you're dealing with larger texts, then this can definitely be a valid method to speed things up even more. However, you should be a little bit mindful that you don't always get a speed up when you're doing this. Let's now suppose, for example, that I'm only dealing with a list of 100 items or so. In this case, the overhead of running things in parallel is actually greater than the speed up that we're getting. So if you want to speed up Spacey, just remember, wherever you can, just use the pipe method. And if you're dealing with a very large set and if you're able to run it on a machine with multiple processes, then you might also be able to use this trick as well.